April 16th, 2007, in Blacksburg, Virginia, 23-year-old student Swang Hing Cho killed 32 students and faculty members in two separate attacks on the campus of Virginia Tech, and then he committed suicide, end quote. Quote, December 14th, 2012, in Newtown, Connecticut, 20-year-old Adam Lanza killed 27 people and himself. He first killed his mother at their shared home before taking her guns and driving to his former elementary school. Lanza brought four guns with him. He killed 20 first grade children aged six and seven, along with six adults, including four teachers, the principal, and the school psychologist. Quote, August 1st, 1966 in Austin, Texas, 25 year old engineering student and former US Marine Charles Whitman got onto the clock tower at the University of Texas, Austin. After killing three people inside the tower, he began firing outside from the observation deck atop it, killing a further of 12 people and wounding 31 others during a 96 minute shooting rampage, which lasted until he was shot and killed by police. Quote, February 14th, 2018 in Parkland, Florida, Nicholas Cruz, a 19 year old former student whose behavior had led to its expulsion, began shooting students and staff members with a semi-automatic rifle at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School after activating the fire alarm. 17 people were killed and seven others were injured. All of those cases are school shootings with high death and injury tolls. How could those deaths be prevented? How could those injuries be prevented? Well, let's think. Maybe a quicker response time from the police, giving the shooter less time to cover more ground, or maybe better security, or maybe better gun control. To me, it seemed way too easy to walk up to a school with a gun and start shooting, but isn't that what happened? Why could those shooters do that? I blame lack of gun control. What about survivors? What about their problems? According to healthaffairs.org, quote, mass casualty incidences such as school shootings can lead to grief, depression, addiction, PTSD, and somatic symptomology in addition to suicide, end quote. Kids and teenagers like me shouldn't be going through something that can be preventable. Through therapy and taking medicine, kids and teenagers can get through these problems, but it still takes time and money. I blame lack of gun control. I remember when I was in elementary school, and there was an incident with a person running away from police who came awfully close to my school, and yes, they did have a gun. I can't imagine what would have happened if they got in. What teachers and students might have lost their lives. What parents, siblings, and children would have lost their lives because of lack of gun control. Thankfully, my teachers and fellow peers were taught how to deal with situations like this, but it's the fact that we have to be taught in the first place. It is extremely important that we're taught this, but it's so sad to think that this could actually happen. I'd like to imagine a world where I'm not worried that my next school day is going to be my last. I'd like to imagine a world where I don't see kids my age dying on the news because of guns. I urge you to take a stand with me and help protect each other, to protect our parents, our siblings, and our children. I'm urging you to come together for gun control. Thank you.